Welcome along guys, well I promised you a bit of green laning and we're starting off small in capacity, not in size. This is the KTM 250 EXC F, the four stroke version of their 250 class enduro bike. For 2020, they've made a few revisions to this, including frame revisions, engine revisions, to make it easier to ride, more powerful, more suitable for a beginner like me or an advanced person. This is an incredibly versatile motorcycle. So that's enough talk. Let's get out and hit those lanes and get muddy. Let's do it. just on our way to a few lanes now just familiarizing myself with a little bike like this it's so small it's so light it's taken a few miles just for me to get back into it again so for this year what have they done to the 250 XEF well they've made it lighter basically refined it further it's obviously evolution <laughs> rather than rev I hate that phrase but it is an evolution of the old bike. Just comparing it to Barry's back there, there's a few things changed. Like the crankcases, they've taken off the provision for a kickstart now. You can no longer get the kickstart as an optional extra. So that saved a little bit of 200 grams off the engine casings. You know, it's little things like that. Slight revisions to the frame. I think they've added a bit of more flex to the frame to get, give better feedback. And look, you know, revisions, the, the plastics have changed slightly, the radiators are a bit lower down and they've changed a lot of the, the way the, the water flows through the engine, so they've done quite a lot of work to the actual cooling system. But yeah, it's, it's more or less the same bike as what Barry's bought, but just slightly evolved, small changes. A little easy warm-up lane is what we want, just to get used to standing up on the bike again manoeuvring it around while you stood up and just to remind myself how of that feeling of what, what it's like when the bike's the front end's moving around on its own beneath you that takes some getting used to there's a right hander here somewhere there's a right in the minute let's tell Barry here it is after, after you mate <laughs> yeah a bit of chalk under this one this feels slippery already Barry's uh, Barry's gone Oh, he's absolutely gone. <laughs> Let's stand up. Yeah, this is slippery. I don't know what I'm just, I don't know what's under these leaves is the trouble, how much grip there is. I am so rubbish at this. Oh, Jesus, I'm so not used to this. Will I ever get used to this? I don't, I'm really not sure. Try and keep up with Barry. Come on, Sharps, you can do this. Stop being a pussy. You fall off, what's the worst that's going to happen? I've got bones like fragile sticks at my age, that's the trouble. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, hey ya! Uh, hey ya, Holmes. Over the log. Didn't even notice it. What? It's a good one. Scary! Yeah. <laughs> After you, mate. Oh, it's like scary. What the hell are you on about, Chops? Yeah, the bike is amazing. It's just I'm not up to the standard of the motorcycle. The bike's great. It's the ride is the problem. <laughs> well, hey! Got to loosen the hips, Chops. Loosen the hips. You know how to do this. Woo! <laughs> That's good. You do not need more than this for doing the lanes. I'm going to be borrowing next the 250 TE from Husqvarna just to try the same, well, similar bike, but a two-stroke. So that's next on the higher list. And after that, we have the 300 TE, the big two-stroke. Very interested in that one. Way too much bike for me. Way too much bike for me, but... Uh, It'll be fun all the same, and hopefully I'll get better, I'll get braver. At the moment, I'm just a scaredy chops. <laughs> it's all about just building the confidence levels. Because I've not done this in so long, 
and I've not done it in these wet, slippery conditions in even, even longer. Spinning up. I think you could go this way. Come on through, mate. Suspension on this is just incredible. 200, 300 mil of travel. 300 millimeters. I'll go that way, that looks like it could be. What do you reckon? <laughs> we lead the way, I'm rubbish. Plenty of water. Oy! Plenty of water. That's quite deep. Watch out for that one, it's deep! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Hopefully the GoPro survived that. I did that in... I did that in bloody Portugal and the GoPro cut out because it got wet. Oh yeah, that was pretty deep and all. That saves me jet washing the bike when I get home anyway. Yeah, on a lane like that... Well, that's nothing, is it? Do you know what I mean? Absolutely nothing. And the bike just <laughs> runs over it, you know. These, this is the thing with these. It's perfect for doing those sorts of lanes like that. But if it, if you get, if you're going to get more technical than just riding on lanes, if you're going to do some you know, proper tracks, proper competition, then again, these bikes are perfect for that as well. So even as a beginner machine, it can, do, it, it can do that. It can also do the more advanced technical stuff as well. Best of both. Bad side about this bike, it is expensive. It's £8,700. It's a lot of money for something which is going to get dirty, chucked about. But you have to remember, it is a proper thoroughbred competition bike. This thing's got the ability to see you through your whole enduro life. Do you know what I mean? It, it can do can do the off-road stuff, it can do just the trail riding, it can do competition riding. Buy one bike and it can last you for your whole enduro experience really, from whatever level you are, amateur through to pro. Obviously we're talking amateur with me on it. <laughs> so there we go, hope you enjoyed that little taster of the 250. BXCF 2020. Stick around, I will be out on this again, getting braver. I'm going out with the guys again this week. There'll be more videos on this bike. If you're not already subscribed, I promise I will push this thing harder than what I've done today. This is just a first ride for me to get used to the bike and probably get used to how to ride Enduro again because I am a bit of a noob. This is power level one which is full power.